Hey folks, this is Ernest Cisneros here, and there are certain things that I do to prepare the night before as I'm going to go fishing, and I want to give you those tips. There are uh, three main apps that I like to use. The first one is the tidesforfishing.com, and what that does for me, it gives me the weather, but I mainly look at it for the tides and the salooner, and the salooner is very important because it gives you when the moon is rising, when the moon is overhead, or when the moon is uh, falling towards the horizon. Um, it also gives me the, the tides uh, for the day or for my area, and that's very helpful. And just keep in mind that tides tend to travel normally six to seven miles per hour. So if you're uh, 12 miles away from the weather, that local weather station, it's going to be about two hours before that tide comes in or out, okay? And then the other apps are uh, Wind Finder, and the Wind Finder, I like it because it gives me the wind for the whole day, okay, and for the whole week as, as well, but it breaks it down. And then the third one is to confirm the weather or the wind conditions. I look at NOAA.com for my local area, okay? So, it's important that you study the salooner, study the barometric pressure. You look at what the weather is going to do for that day, not the day of the fish that you're going fishing, but the night before. So that way you can get a better idea of what conditions you're going to have. And then the next part is finding those fish. But finding those fish, read my article for the month of February, and that'll help you locate fish in the lower Laguna Madre.